I had a bit of a crazy, crazy weekend, you guys. You guys could tell by the title of this video, I thought poor little Mochi had a respiratory infection or something going on or something brewing up. I heard little clicking noises coming from her. And sometimes that can indicate a sign of something a little bit more serious. And I heard her do it like a couple times after each other and I got a little bit worried. Obviously, I was not sure if she had a respiratory infection. I am not a vet. Since it was the weekend, I honestly didn't think that a vet was going to be in. And secondly, I did not think I was even going to be able to get in if they were open because usually I have to make like appointments ahead of time. You guys, so um, I'm a bit flustered right now. We had a little incident. Um, I had heard some clicking noises from Mochi and um, I was a little bit concerned that she might have a respiratory infection. Um, I wanted to give her some time and I didn't think I was going to be able to get into the vets this soon, but I was able to squeeze myself in at the last minute. So we are at the vets right now down here and we're gonna go ahead and go in. I'm not sure if um, I'm gonna be able to film inside. So I've never filmed inside a vet's office before, um, but we're gonna see if we're able to. I got my son with me and I got Roche. So Mochi is in here right now, hello. And um, like I said, I'm not even sure if she has one, but we're just gonna go ahead and make sure everything is okay. Um, she doesn't have any other signs except for those um, clicking noises. I just have her food dish in here, but she's probably like, what is going on? I'm in a tiny little cage right now. <laughs> but um, I do have her food dish in, and we're gonna go ahead and take her in and see if she's okay. Talk to you guys in just a bit. So we are back, and um, everything is fine because she does not have any infection, and um, obviously it was a false alarm. That said that she was maybe like cleaning herself and made a little noise and I maybe completely overreacted or something. So the good news is that Mochi is totally fine and I'm glad that we went to make sure that um, nothing was serious or anything like that. And yeah, so we're gonna be on our way home now and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. My first initial instinct and reaction was Thyme. So I ran to the store like a crazy person. I got some thyme. Just an old little home remedy that I have given my past hamsters before as well. And although obviously it's not going to treat a hamster or cure a hamster of whatever it might have, it's something that I have always used, especially in a situation like this, if it is like during a weekend and I'm terrified. I had posted this all on Instagram because I like letting you guys know, you know, everything that's going on with my with my hamsters, so I keep you guys updated. I delete two of the posts because I obviously don't want people to get sad um, seeing, you know, me being concerned about Mochi, not seeing the updated videos on her, so I didn't really want to keep those two up anymore since when I did come back from the vet, it was a complete false alarm. No, Mochi is perfectly healthy and um, she does not have a respiratory infection. Nothing is wrong. Just wanted to thank everyone on Instagram for encouraging me to, you know, go to the vet. Even though I was planning on going, trust me, I am always very, very concerned um, about my hamsters and try to do the best thing for them. I did receive a little bit of hate through the DM messages that were kind of attacking me, um, which I really didn't understand why, and I think it just kind of added to my frustration and my stressed out self, and I think my anxiety was like kicking in, and I was sweating, and I was just I don't know, it was kind of like all over the place. Really sweet and concerned in the comment sections, which I am very, very grateful for. It's really good to get everyone else's opinions and experiences with certain things. So I am very, very grateful and thankful for that. I know a handful of you guys were super sweet and concerned 
about um, you know me only giving her the thyme and not going to the vets at all. That definitely was never the plan. I had said it was the weekend and I just really wanted to give that to her and I was going to film all that process for you guys but since we did end up going to the vets and I called and they were actually open and the thing is with my vets um, the exotic vet actually comes to that location on certain days and I thought it was only on Tuesdays but apparently she does come in on Saturdays too so that was that was really really nice and they told me to just come on in and they'll take me in the back so I was very very happy about that so I was able to just drive there and go straight in. I said thank you everyone for the encourage, cur encouragement. Um, it did make me pick up the phone and a call just immediately to see if I could possibly get in that same day and I was able to so thank you. The main thing is that Mochi is super healthy and everything is fine. What I've kind of learned through this little experience even though it was a false alarm is even if it's the weekend just try calling your vets because you know what you never know they could be open or they might have time for you to come in definitely trying is always better than not trying at all and I'm very very glad that I did because it could have been something serious you know These little hamsters mean so much to me I try my best to be the best owner possible to them and um, I would just be devastated if something were to happen but anyway, I wanted to keep you guys updated if you didn't see um, what was going on this weekend we'll see you guys very very soon in my next video and I'll talk to you guys down below. Love you and I'll see you soon. Bye!